Well, hello, hello, hello. How to add a software testing projects to your resume so that it gets selected, right? Many times you have asked me this question, right? So in this video, we are going from start to finish. We are going to add a open source project into a resume. I'm going to share the couple of tips, right? What are the things you are going to get? We'll discuss about the project. We'll discuss how to add this project into a resume. What are the description keywords and everything that you need to add, right? If you're a sure manual tester, or even if you are an automation tester or five year experience, right? You want to add this to your resume how you can do that right so all of this we are going to discuss not only that we are going to discuss after adding this right how you can upload all the templates five plus template you are going to get right you can upload those templates to your github profile so that if anyone wants to see your github profile right they will see a amazing project structure that you have done and as a fresher you will get an advantage as compared to the other people because they have not added any kind of project and even if you have a career gap or if you're working as a normal software tester right you want to add a new project this exactly is the project that we are going to add right so let's get started with this all right i hope you are excited you can watch this video in 1.5x this is going to be an amazing i'm going to give you a proper structure how it is done how execution are done right we will follow a proper stlc in this case there's going to be a long video but bear with me because this one will definitely help you a lot and before we start if you like these kind of videos make sure you give a like and subscribe to the channel because 70% of the people are not subscribed, but they are watching my video. So make sure you do that. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, before we start, right, everyone should know about the STLC, which is software testing lifecycle. We have requirement phase, we have test planning phase, we have test case development phase, we have test environment phase, we have test execution phase and the test closer phase or test cycle closer phase, right? So what are the documents are required? So documents are this, if you notice, right, we have 00, zero which is requirement documentation, then followed by the test plan, test cases and test environment, right, in this case, but we will see one by one. But again, first of all, we need to understand about the process that we are going to do right we are basically trying to add a open cart open source project right so see now question is promote can we add this project to our resume yes you can because you can showcase that yes sir while i was just practicing right on my saturday sunday right i have done this project where i have created where i had a hypothetical requirement right i have created a test plan i have basically created a test strategy i have created test cases right i'm going to show you also how i have done it right if you are judging me based on my learning right then definitely all the things i have already have all the documents i have here are the documents that you are going to see right so you have to tell them into your whenever you have these kind Kind of uh, interviews with you right so it's a open card project right we have multiple modules in this case it's an e-commerce website first of all if you see we have registration page followed by the login page followed by the product listing followed by the add to card page then we have a checkout payment gateway and others now amazing is thing is that this project is end-to-end -end. this is a complete project and you can find this website awesomeqa.com slash ui where you will find this as an installation right now the important module which we are basically focusing on is login Login and registration, add to card and checkout, payment gateway are the important stuff that we are doing, right? So payment gateway test cases is video which is coming, right? Again, you can check it out. But again, right now we will focus how basically different documents we need to prepare and how basically you can add this to your GitHub repository like this, which I'm going to show you right now. Just check this out. So this is how you can add this project into your repository, right? So I have added as a software testing project and you can showcase to your whoever basically want to showcase. Whatever you're giving interview, right? For example, if you are taking only Line, you can showcase them yes sir i have done a e-commerce project this is like this and this is a folder structure that we have followed these are terminology that we have basically discussed so this is how the github thing that you can basically showcase okay so let's get started before this right so first of all we need to understand the requirement documentation of course all the links you are going to get in the description you will automatically get it don't worry i will share everything in this case right so first of all the phase one which is our requirement phase so if you follow a particular stlc you know phase one is all about requirement analysis right so let me check where are we so requirement phase then you have a test planning phase so you should know many times this question comes right sir i don't have a requirement how do i add this project to my resume right see what you can do is you can take this temporary requirement that i have given to you right this is temporary requirement i will share a template with you in this temporary requirement we have a login module description is user will should able to basically create an account and login right this is the acceptance criteria. criteria acceptance criteria is basically user can basically log in and registration page and other things right all right so all the registration page and other thing are basically mentioned in the, this document right what you need to do, do. So you need to read this document, right? Go through this document. Now your time for you is to basically create a test plan. 
So Pramod, how should I create a test plan and how does it look like? Can you share a template also if possible? Yes. So this is how it looks like, right? Just check it out. We have a test plan, right? In the test plan, please notice, suppose uh, these four module that we are going to test and we are going to add it to a resume, right? So this is how it will be, right? We have sco objective, scopes, inclusive, environment, test strategy, how we are doing it, test deliverables, risk and everything, right? So everything I have mentioned here, go through them, you will see there's a scope in scope. In scope is login to get functionality, registration, right? Order, pay, payment, gateway, and everything. Those are the things basically where which will we are testing out, right? This will be our test strategy in this case, right? So this is I'm giving you an example. This is how we generally test in our organization and our right. There's no difference in this case. This is how the test plan is generally given. See, many companies have a different, different uh, what we call a different, different test plans, right? Templates, but this is the most generic one which basically we are using. Right. If you follow, right, follow along, you will see in scope, out scope. What is the test test strategy? What kind of documents we are going right? Everything is mentioned here. I would suggest you to just go through it and you will see there are many, many things which every phase that you are going to follow, right? They have an exit and entry criteria, right? Test strategy. What is your goals? What is the objective that you have? What type of testing you are doing? Functional testing you are doing performance. You are doing security. You are doing everything one liner you have to add into your test plan. And majorly you will see this document is generally created by your QA leads and everything, right? Majorly you will see. Okay. So now suppose uh, hypothetically our test plan is ready. I will share the link with you now. The time has come where you will be writing the test cases. So here, open the test case development. Now I'm going to show you how you can write the test cases. See, test case writing is very simple. You can apply the different black box testing techniques, right? Boundary equivalence partition. You need to understand the project. Login scenario, I think we have done multiple times. Registration page, we have done it multiple times. Right? So all these are modules. We have login page, registration page, product search, product designing, add to cart and multiple things, right? Now in between here, you will see one important thing, which is a second tab. Where is the second tab? I think it has not loaded there. You will see a test cases return, right? And there you will mark hypothetically, just take this as a project and you will start marking your project as and fail. So you will go to a website, which is awesome QA slash UI, which is the open card website. You will run this test one by one. If these are incomplete, add it, right? What you need to do is you can just add the test cases, right? Here, if you, you see.